involves uh, flying the, the T-38. We need a vehicle that uh, does give us some, some capability to remain proficient in flying skills. We have a great facility for being able to see uh, what it's going to look like when we actually arrive at the International Space Station. Thank you, Professor Kowski. I uh, forgot to get the lights there as we started the video. We also have a giant uh, water tank in Houston that allows us to perform the space spacewalks. We've got a giant space station sitting in the bottom of a 40 foot deep by 200 foot by 200 foot swimming pool. About uh, three hours prior to a space shuttle launch, the crew will walk out of what's called the ONC building. It's an engineering building at the Kennedy Space Center, basically breaking quarantine and heading out to uh, the space shuttle to get trapped in. About uh, between four and seven seconds prior to the dock, the main engines will light. And if those all turn out good, solid rocket boosters and then launch ourselves into space. You can see how violent the motion is. You can see the crew there on the bottom right uh, vibrating around. You can also see that uh, cloud layer that we're going to bust through here in about 22 seconds on the big clock. So luckily, like I said, it was a, a small cloud deck. The folks on the ground were able to see us around the If you haven't been to a space shuttle launch, smooth uh, lift into orbit. You saw the crew there relax, have a nice uh, big sigh of relief as the 3G throttling, we call it, kind of the three uh, Gs of acceleration that they're under as they get to the point of cutting off those main engines uh, released. The first thing that happens is we lose the external tank. We don't need to take that the rest of the way to orbit because it was only providing the fuel for those main engines that uh, we've turned off now for the remainder of the flight. The crew's uh, first responsibility after we get into orbit is to uh, videotape and take still photos of that external tank to make sure that uh, nothing came off of it that could have injured our orbiter, and then get dressed into uh, regular clothes out of those cumbersome orange suits and get ready for docking with the space station. What you see here is a uh, preparations for an inspection of the critical services on our space shuttle. Since we lost the space shuttle Columbia, we always take the time on flight day two now to perform a detailed inspection of all the critical areas that we need for safe for coming back to Earth. In our case, the leading edges of the wings, the nose cap uh, sometimes, and uh, of course the thrusters that we, re we require for, for control. Uh, our orbiter was in great shape, and so we didn't have any concerns. That was a photo of the shuttle taken from the space station uh, on one of those beautiful sunrises that we get to enjoy multiple times per day. During rendezvous, uh, the entire crew works together to uh, perform the arrival at the space station safely, um, including the crew of the International Space Station. So this is them on board the space station videotaping and, and taking still photos of our arrival. Not just so that I can show you post-flight what was in our payload bay before we got there, but to 